Welcome to the Soka Chronicles. Soka Chronicles with Sharns and RKO. Welcome to the 21st episode of Soka Chronicles, the podcast that brings you everything Soka. I'm RKO and I'm digitally sitting next to the one and only Sharns. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> this episode, we do not have an interview. So we'll have a little bit of a chit-chat about everything that has happened in the last weeks. We will have another interview the next time, but until then, let's get into the nitty-bitty-gritty details of what happened in the festivals and the carnivals and Mm -hmm. in London, because Sharns of the last weeks. Let's go. Mm -hmm. This is Soka Soka. Chronicles. So first things first, last time we talked about a new album coming out. Destra's album that has now been released so it's available on Spotify on YouTube on Mm -hmm. iTunes on just make up your favorite streaming service here and that's probably also going to have that album yep yep we've had a little listen to it a little listen sorry excuse my uh, (laughs) non-Bayesian what what the hell anyway carry on (laughs) and uh, yeah I mean what was your what was your opinion so far uh, Shorns I mean, none of the songs really jumped out at me like, ooh, I really like this one. Obviously, Shake the Place is on it, which is a monster of a tune, but the other ones... mm. I I do like, I have to say, I do like the the building of... So, I I do agree with you. Let's get that straight. Uh, (laughs) But what I do notice is that like it starts with a bit of easygoing soca, like calm, mellow. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice, you know, you get into the groove. And then it builds up a bit in energy because mm-hmm. at the end you get Shake the Place, which is high energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it's funny to see because if I look at, at Spotify and the listens, like everything yeah. has has about, you know, some tracks that have 6,000 listens. Um, there's some that have 23 and then like 50 something. But then there's Shake the Place, half a million. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, it's clear yeah. what the favorite is of, 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 that, of, uh, of that album so far of at least. Course. But yeah, I mean, I don't dislike the album, but it's more yeah. of an album for Sunday afternoon, if you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. It's very mellow, very chilled. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, after Shake the Place, I would say maybe On the Road was my mm-hmm. favorite. Yeah. But even still, you know. I it's like just, Easy. Yeah, yeah, the, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. No, and, and you know, in the end, this is an album that is released in a mainstream world. So it's just another exactly. step of, of Soka growing up, I guess. Exactly, exactly. So I, I can't be mad at that at exactly. all. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and speaking of new music, we have a new song from Patrice and Shaggy. 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 So last time, I'm not sure if it was last episode or the episode before that, well, we, we mentioned that uh, Kess and Shaggy had a, had a song and yeah. that Shaggy was working on the Soka album. Yes, that may have been two episodes ago. It I definitely think wasn't so the too. last episode. No. Yeah. No, true. But time's flying so much, I can't keep up. Especially with, you know, carnivals coming up now. There so there's a lot of Vinci music, a lot of Beijing music. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, the job job is getting real. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, there's a lot of new music coming out, but uh, this one stands out. It's it's definitely, you know, every year there's a sort of like style of soca that's like becoming popular, mm-hmm. and I feel like we're going back to a bit of a techno phase of of, of mm-hmm. soca. You know, we have come mean. home, and you you you, you did say yeah. because we dis- discussed this before the episode as well. Yeah. Because my yeah. first reply on the, my first thoughts on the Patrice and Shaggy song was, it's a bit techno-y, a bit housey. Mm-hmm. But then you said, yeah, well, so is Come Home. And yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a very good point. It is a very yep. good point. Yep, yep, yep. But don't forget, we had a we had a phase in, was it 2015, I think, where there was a bit of techno influence as well. With uh, EPIC, Epic, from uh, oh, Marshall. Okay. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. all kinds of, like, yeah. electronic beats, at least. So, full circle, I, hear I guess. It. I hear it. <laughs> I think I, I don't mind the song though. Like I think it's alright. It definitely has the potential to get stuck in your head, just like Come Home. Yeah. It's yeah. Not bad. Definitely. Definitely. Yep. Oh, I see. There's another album being released in June. RKO. Another. Another one. Another one. Yep. Whose album is it this time? 
voice. Hey, oh yeah. I, yeah. I heard that, yeah. That's Listen, be these albums are coming thick and fast in the soca world now. We went from having like <laughs> no albums really. Exactly. <laughs> now it's like people are starting to release albums. This is epic. This is honestly yeah. epic. I'm and this is the thing. I'm, yes, exactly. Because this means, like I said before, this is just another yeah. step into mm-hmm. growing up, right? For soca. So Definitely. it's no longer. Because Voice, he could have released his album either. You know, December or next year for Trinidad, or December mm-hmm. last year for Trinidad, but he chose to do it middle of the year, so yeah. unrelated to any Trinidad carnival or whatever like that. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's a good sign. You know, soca all year long, so it's good. Exactly, love it, mate. Absolutely yep. love it. So I'm interested to, you know, see what songs he puts on the album, whether he puts a lot of old stuff or if yep. he puts like some new stuff that we haven't heard yet. So exactly, yeah, man. Can't it's got to be a shift for a lot of people, you know, because we're, we're used to rhythms right now. But yeah, it seems yeah, like yeah. there's a little shift going on towards, uh, yeah, more album type of uh, listening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting. Is there anybody who you want to see an album from, Charles? Like, is there any artist that you're like, oh, yeah, I need to have um, uh, an album from this artist with new music and so on? Mm-hmm. That is a good, good question. I mean, hmm, that is a very good question. <laughs> One you didn't prepare. <laughs> no, listen, listen, we're not going to have a repeat of like last month uh, oh, yeah. uh, where people can't answer questions and stuff. I'm going to say I would love an album from Kess. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. He did the whole live thing last year. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Made it to a little bit of an album, but that's yeah. uh, I guess it's not really like a, a like, yeah, the standard album. Yeah. Mhm, mhm. Nice. Okay, I guess it's not a bad pick. Yeah. Like what it. about you? Um. Hmm. I would go for Lil Rick. I think. Ooh. I don't think it's ever gonna happen, but I like Ooh. I like some because Lil- you know it's gonna be energy. You know. Listen, I want to change my answer. <laughs> no, I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to because I would make a big fuss <laughs> if yes, somebody would. else you would. <laughs> did that. <laughs> Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you for pointing yeah. that because no, yeah. Okay, I'll stick with my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and for the listeners as well, if they have any like um, like like artists that they want to see, just Put it in the comments yeah. and we'll just uh, send a message their way to ask if they have any plans. Yes. And we can discuss it next time. There we go. Because we we are influencers, okay? We, you know, <laughs> can sway artists' views and get them to... We're powerful, you know? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. We can definitely influence yeah. people. I mean, if I had known you wanted an album from Lil Rick, yeah. I would have just spoken to him when I was in yeah. Ibiza beginning of the month and I would have been like yo Ricky Bredgin was he there we need an album for me he was there wait wait were you there let's start with that I was in Ibiza Ibiza Soka I was there bruv that's big how was it tell me everything okay (laughs) I will tell you everything I'll tell you everything (laughs) everything 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 (laughs) listen yeah Ibiza Soka was epic Uh I wasn't even supposed to be there Oh. I wasn't supposed to be there. I literally, last minute, it was like Sunday night. Uh-huh. And I was like, actually, no, one of my friends was meant to go with two of her friends. Okay. And both of them dropped out. Oh, shit. So she actually had bought everybody's wristband. And she was like, look, Chance, I've got a spare wristband. If you can come to Ibiza don't worry about your wristband like i'll give it to you as a birthday present whatever whatever so i was like so this oh, is your man, this is your I've influencer you know yeah. your work <laughs> exactly yeah. i was like i've got to work i've got to do this and then sunday night i was sitting there it was like midnight and i was like do you know what bun work man <laughs> forget work i literally work. searched the flights <laughs> the flights were a decent price i was like <laughs> no i'm going i'm going to be far so i booked it the Sunday night and I flew out on Tuesday. <laughs> Jeez on <laughs> Literally, like two days later I flew out. That yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I was there for a week. My flight got cancelled on the way back. 
So yeah, stay there for a bit longer. Chair. That's annoying. Listen, it was annoying because this, this. Listen, I've got stories for days. Listen to this story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I jump on the bus to go to the airport. Now my flight was at like midnight. Yeah. So I was like, if I get to the airport at ten o'clock, I'm good. Jumped on the bus now, and I've checked the EasyJet app, and the EasyJet app is saying flight delayed, but it had oh, been sure. delayed by like two hours. It had been late mm-hmm. till two a.m. So I'm like, mm, that's fine. Like I can deal with that. Anyway, get to the airport now, and I've joined the queue because obviously I had a bag I wanted to drop off, mm-hmm. and then I start seeing people like leaving the queue to go to mm-hmm. another one. So I'm like, hmm, what's going on here? Uh huh. So anyway, I get like a little bit closer to the front, still not near the front, but a bit closer, yeah. and somebody goes to me, the flight's been cancelled, and I was like, I beg your pardon, <laughs> <laughs> the flight's been what? Uh, excuse flight's been you <laughs> I was like nah you're kidding me they're like no no the flight's been cancelled and I'm checking the EasyJet app and the mm-hmm. app's still saying delayed so I'm like yeah what do you do What? do you believe the on? random so person anyway, <laughs> yeah like I was so baffled so then I left that queue and went to the queue that everyone else was going to and obviously everybody in that queue was flying to Luton and they were saying the same thing flight's been cancelled but I'm looking up at the board, you know the boards as well, where they have like, yeah. the list of flights? Yeah. So it was still saying delayed, and the flight before ours was leave was meant to leave at like 11 something, I believe, it was going to Gatwick. That uh-huh. one was delayed. So I'm like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Anyway, waiting, waiting, people are obviously getting irate, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then I would say maybe like an hour later, I'm hearing people going, there's no more flights till Friday. Oh, these times it's Tuesday, shoot. you know. Well, technically Wednesday morning. Actually, you know, it was Tuesday because it hadn't turned midnight yet. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. No flights till Friday, you know. I'm like, huh? Till Friday? But my birthday's wow. on Sunday. No, Saturday. Nah, 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 nah. I need to get home. And the thing is, I had plans. Like, I had to go back to work and all that stuff. Yeah. So then, obviously, the people that are at the front of the queue, they're booking them on the next flight. So obviously, as oh, they're booking shit. them on the flights, the flights are filling up. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god. And then I'm hearing no flights till Saturday. I'm like, what? Nah, wow. nah. Then I'm hearing no flights till Sunday. I said, you were, bruh. You were swimming. You were ready to swim. Bruh. I was ready to swim. Uh, me staying in Ibiza past my birthday after I had plans. I think not. <laughs> so in the end, I was like, well, how am I getting home? And then in the end, they were like to us, oh, well, you know, um, you'll have to book with a different airline. Imagine wow. I didn't have money. Yeah. What What would I do? I, I'd be in Ibiza till Sunday. Wow. Are you on crack? But they, obviously, they paid you for that, right? For that changing the money. Bruh. Changing the flight. Bruh. Bruh. Obviously, they did. No, no, no. Let me finish my story. I haven't finished oh, my story. Come on, come on, sake. come on. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. We ain't got an interview, so we got time to hear me chat. You know? <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I booked... I, I checked the Ryanair flights before before they said we need to book with an airline I, bu- I checked the Ryanair and like the earliest flight that I saw was like £176 mm-hmm. so I'm like mm, a bit pricey but you know it, it can mm-hmm. work and the flight after it was like £58 oh. so I'm like oh that's decent but I didn't book it because people were saying oh they're saying don't book another flight otherwise you won't be able to get your money back so there were like loads of conflicting yeah, messages yeah, 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 yeah. and then eventually they said alright book with another airline when I went back on this app RKO had the flight not gone up to wait the the earlier flight went from 176 it was 326 pounds yo then the one um, that was 58 pound went up to how much did I pay I paid 170 I think 176 oh. I ended up paying. Jesus Christ. 176. I was I was livid. Yep. If I had known, I would have just booked it from before, but it was so yeah, many conflicting ideas. And then I still had to wait to get to the front of the queue so that I could get a hotel. Because obviously the flight was for the following day at about 8 pm. Oh my Jesus. So I ended up in the airport. What time did I so I was at the airport from like 10. I didn't mm-hmm. leave the airport till like 1 a.m three hours i was at that airport three hours yeah so they ended up giving us a hotel the hotel was like five minute drive from the airport so Mm -hmm. the hotel was actually decent it had a pool 
I tried okay. to get in the pool at night time. Well, I jumped in the pool at night time, and then <laughs> one of the uh, security people was like, "It is not possible to swim." That's my Spanish <laughs> accent, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Did you reply in out. Spanish? Pardon? Did you reply in Spanish? No, no, no. He he said it to he, to me in English. Oh. In English, because obviously he didn't Ay, think I could speak Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> it is not possible to swim. Anyway, I managed to get two nights at the hotel, but. Hear me out. I was leaving the next day, but because my flight was at eight, mm-hmm. I didn't want to have to check out at like eleven exactly. or something and be waiting yep. around. So I made them give me two nights so I yep. could just literally check out when I was ready to yep. go to the airport. Yep. Um, they ended up giving us all inclusive, so I got breakfast, I oh, got okay. like drinks included and stuff. I ended up missing lunch because I was sleeping, but hey ho. <laughs> um, but yeah, I managed to get home. I got home Thursday night, luckily. Okay. Sorry, still Wednesday on time night. for your birthday. No. When did I get home? Yeah, Wednesday night. In time for my birthday. Celebrated it at the Rum Kitchen, where ah, I nice. am a resident DJ, if you don't know. And then I went to an event called Rebel, a soaker event, which was mm-hmm. good. That was on my actual birthday. That was a good one. But um, nice. Ibiza was... I, I had a great time. I had an absolute great time. Olatunji was there. Lil Rick was oh. there. GBM Neutron was there. Adam O was there, um, some UK so artists were there, like it, it was fab. And nice. guys, 2024, Ibiza for my birthday. All right, sounds like a plan. We're there. Yep. We are there. But um, yeah, Ibiza was vibes, man. Absolute vibes. Nice. And yep, as you guys know, it was my birthday on the 13th. Big up everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Love, love, love. I had a great birthday. And um, the birthday celebrations continue in Soka Mazar. So by the time you guys listen to this, me and RKO will be in Soka Mazar. We'll be in Gran Canaria. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah, we'll be fitting well, I won't up. be waiting by the time you're listening to this, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm celebrating my birthday the whole month. Whole month. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm already celebrating my birthday in September already now, because why not? Uh, <laughs> no. So not allowed. It's my time now. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So you'd have to wait till the first of June to first be able June, to celebrate yeah. yours. My, May's my month, honey. <laughs> okay. Well then I'm taking June, July, August, and September. Yeah, That's fine. Have it. I, I, <laughs> take it. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm yeah, happy man. to hear that you had a good time during your birthday. Yeah, honestly it was great wish you could have been actually no i'm saying wish you could have been there but you will be there in circumaza with me but i wish you were with me in ibiza honestly yeah oh. i mean honestly i i forgot Bro. it was happening it's this is sounding so bad because normally i'm on top of these dates yeah but i was yeah. like i heard you oh i'm in Ibiza. i'm like what would you be in ibiza <laughs> it's like oh <laughs> ibiza so oh. Like. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I heard the Dutch Soka Legion was there representing as yeah, well. Yeah, they were representing hard. Obviously, Soka good. Lion was there just yep, doing a good madness. Stuff. I'm here uh, Bita for Bita is I always, uh, yeah, it's one of yeah. the favorites. It's yeah, that yeah. and it's Berlin. But Berlin yeah. is happening the same weekend as Soka Maza. It is. And it will be the final Berlin Carnival after There will be no this, more yeah, after this no one. more. It Can you so believe it? Sad. Yeah, I don't think they went well through the corona uh, time. Nah, they didn't. Because... Uh, I think even last year it was sort of half yes, half no, but they still organized yeah. it. So I don't think that was a very big success. And yeah. I think they're now just done with all the the business arranging yeah. for you know not getting back what they really want. Exactly. So sad time, sad thing. Because I really cool. enjoyed Berlin. I did. Same. It Same. was such a vibe. I think I went three times. Yeah, I went 17, yeah, nice. 18 and 19 was with you. Yes, exactly. I only yeah. went once. Yeah. I was planning to go 20, but obviously it didn't happen. Yeah. And yeah. I was planning to go 21, but obviously it didn't happen. <laughs> and then I was going 22, but then I was going to Tokamaza <laughs> as well. Because I didn't realize it was on the same date and I booked Tokamaza yeah. first. So, yeah. yeah. Sad times. Sad times, yeah. But uh, Berlin, Carnival. It's... I wonder, honestly, I wonder if there's, co- if there's something's going to be in place for, for that. Because I think... They're still gonna have uh, the Carnaval del Culturen or whatever you call it. Call it. So mm-hmm. maybe it, all it takes is just somebody or a group of people who organizes 
something, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder. I, I have I have hopes. I still have hopes that we can come back to Berlin to celebrate. I mean, I don't have hopes, but you know me, pessimistic <laughs> Polly and that. I was honestly going to say negative Nancy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Christ, mother, what? Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. So, well, yeah. farewell to Berlin Carnival. Mm -hmm. What, what, exactly. what, 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 and all that jazz, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, before we continue, right? Yes. Because there's, there's, I think there's one more topic to discuss, but I want to just switch it up with some music. Um, mm -hmm. Because we still have a song of the month to play, right? We do. Song of the month. That's the one. And this one is actually one that, that you are vibing on, isn't it? Like you are it is loving it. Loving it, mate. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is from one of the artists that we have interviewed as well, mm -hmm, some time mm -hmm. back. Which mm -hmm. doesn't really... Uh, well, it does definitely like produce the amount of chances you get to, to pick the right artist. But <laughs> we still had a fairly amount of artist uh, by now uh, interviewed so yeah yeah yep. do you want to do the honors of, of introducing course. the song of the month of course this month's song of the month as rko said i'm vibing to it right now mm -hmm. so it has like a a church kind of feel to it yes but um as we know i am a heathen i'm a sinner <laughs> so i feel like incorporating the church vibe into soca allows me to sin but praise the lord <laughs> at the same time i'm here for it <laughs> i'm here for it Wh whining on some gospel yeah <laughs> <laughs> whining on a pastor give me a pastor <laughs> let me whine on him <laughs> so the song of the month this month is i am blessed by stiffy on the db service rhythm so we've interviewed the artist and we've also interviewed the producer true of this rhythm that is true dj kai hey so let's have a little listen let's let's go this is the song of the month brothers and sisters lend me your voices let's sing a song in harmony let's show us a blessing fall upon yes. us by Stiffy let me know what you guys think about it do you, mm -hmm. do you like the sort of church vibe to it like what do you think let us know in the comments man yep 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 I do want to also give uh, honorable mention to a song that dropped by the artist we interviewed last month statement because yes. we had a singing statement already giving off some samples on his mm -hmm. new tune and that now mm -hmm, dropped mm -hmm. uh, give me room it's, it's called yep. Yep. So give that listen as well. It's 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 nice, it's really good. Yeah. And yep. Uh, let us know what you think of that as well. Yes, sir. Then I have one final thing to discuss, uh, Charles. Yep. Because it is now end of May. It's the end of May. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. we have June. Ooh. And then. And then we have July. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And oh end of July, God. both of us will be in the plane flying for. Between six and eight hours, I think. Eight hours. It eight was hours. like between eight and nine hours. Oh, well, I was very optimistic like. then. <laughs> between eight and nine hours to go to Barbados. 
Or was that your Bajan accent? Yeah, it was. I tried. Dead. I tried. Absolutely. Yeah, you do it. 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 I'm not going to do it because <laughs> mine's rubbish exactly. as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're heading to Barbados for um, Barbados Festival. We've been told recently that it's not yes. supposed to be called a carnival, but a festival. Oh. Yeah. That was news to me. So uh, I'll start doing that from now onwards to just call it a festival. Yeah. But they even call it a carnival in Barbados as well. So, yeah, I know, I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do? It's like me saying, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't well, know. We'll it's call like it, me you know saying, what? We'll call it carnival slash festival. Yeah. It's like me saying, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. But then I keep calling myself an idiot. Well, if yeah. you're calling yourself an idiot, you must be an idiot. You know what I mean? But Am I an idiot? <laughs> I mean, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. So anyway, we are heading yeah. towards the Barbados Carnival slash festival. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have a little itinerary already planned, right? Do we want to share do. that with people? Share. Share away, RKO. All right. Well, first of all, we have plans to... The, the most important fest, right? Is what I'm thinking mm-hmm, about right mm-hmm. away. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, four day and kadoomant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is with colors as usual for us. Colors. We are yep. big fans. Big big big. Big fans. fun. Big fun. <laughs> uh, let me go. Let me go. Just you know, through from July to August, right? So twenty mm-hmm. third of July we have Weeting. Third mm-hmm. of July we have Soka on the Hill. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be fun because that was that was like after kadoomant last year, right? Yeah, it was the day after. Yeah, Remember, I was, was supposed to be flying back home that day, and I just yes, my flight. You did. Yeah. You and did. And we had vibes with your broke knee. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! Yeah, my knee was broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting called broke knee. I don't like it. I don't like this new nickname I have, but I don't think Brockford. I can change anything about it. Brockford, <laughs> Brockford. <laughs> <laughs> then to continue and not continue on this Brockford business, the first of August we have hyped uh-huh. DJ Puffy's fat. Yes. Excited about that. Second mm-hmm. of August, rice. And that's with Kess, I think, this this year. Yes, Kess. Nice. I'm looking forward to that, especially with his latest tunes. So yep. that's going to be good. Yep. 3rd of August, my favorite is back because it wasn't back last year. But Jab Nival is back, so I can get Jop some Jab Jab. Because I'm oh. not going to Grenada, sadly. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Uh-huh. But it's okay. I'll get some Jab. It's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Job, job. Mm-hmm. Then it's time for four day on the 5th of August. But... Mm-hmm. Then, well, it's 5th of August night, right? So 5th on the 6th. No. Wait, am I saying it right? No, it's the 4th on the 5th. So it's the 5th. Yeah. Exactly. 4th on the 5th is 4 day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a Friday. Then the Saturday, the 5th, is Colors Cruise. And that's that's always vibes. Always Always vibes. vibes. Looking forward to that. Me too. 6th of August, Limers. A. That was good. It was good. It was good the first time we went, 2019. 2022 yeah. was a bit less. Wasn't wise, as good as 19. Yeah. I, I do have to mention that my, my knee was broke by then. My knee so was broke. That might have something to do with it, you know? And I was, <laughs> remember, I was tired as SHIT. You remember? I, I was do mash remember. up. Because I went to that fit the night before. Yes, yes. So and I was I'm just not lying in bed. mistake again. Try, yeah. <laughs> Well, honestly, like, because uh, we, we've mentioned as well, but looking at the schedule so far, we have, like, bare time to sleep. We do. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because of the late kadoomant this year. Yeah, I have, think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, we have bare time to sleep. I'm actually Which looking forward good. to that as well. Yeah, Being awake so we can during have fest. lots of beach days and exactly. other stuff. Oh. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, hey. So nice. exactly. We're not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we still probably die, but differently. We have time to recover hey. this time. <laughs> And then not to forget the last day, 7th of August, is Kadoomant Day. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, I am proper excited about that. Same, same. Cannot wait. And I should, yeah, fingers okay. crossed, be playing on a truck this year. Yes. Fingers crossed. Four Please day. Please, Sharns. Should be. Fingers crossed. I will crossed. be your, your stage crew and I'll be make sure I'll, I'll get the rider to the right people and I'll be your uh, everything. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I also need like a, a videographer. Well, I can do that. I can do that too. Yeah, but it's going to be four days. It's going to be like awkward because the paint and stuff. If I if I get on the truck, then I'll be fine, right? This is true. But then I might need you on the ground to like make oh, a circle yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It oh, depends yeah, if I I'm hosting for myself or if I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me host. No, no, let me not host for you. <laughs> yes. 
I am RKO from exactly. the Netherlands. Exactly, exactly how Listen I will go. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love Soka. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever told you? Have I ever told on the show the story of my my very short MCing uh, career? Yes, okay, you good. did. I don't know if you said it on the show, but you told me. Oh, okay, well, a very like very brief brief moment there where I was uh, deciding to be an MC for a friend of mine who was DJing. Mm-hmm. And basically, well, to keep a very long story short, my name become MC No Effect. Because <laughs> I was just starting to say like, all right, everybody, put your hands up. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing. Nobody. <laughs> I got some eyes like, bro, calm the fuck down. That was it. That was wow. it. MC No Effect. I was like, you know what? Here's the mic. I'm just going to go back down and just party because <laughs> yeah. this is not me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Yep, yep, yep. MC No Effect will not make an appearance in Barbados. <laughs> please, please, no, thank you, no, thank you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn. Well, yeah, looking forward to that. Me too. Cannot wait. But yeah, man, I think that's about it for this episode. Yep, nice and that's... short, short and sweet, you know, to uh-huh. the point and that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. We we said what we needed to say. We, did. we referred to new music what we could refer. And obviously, guys, if, you, if you're looking for the, the cleanest, the newest, the, the quickest way to find new music, mm-hmm. go to YouTube, right? Please, mm-hmm. I beg. Mm-hmm. Go to Julian's Promos TV as mm-hmm. a channel. Mm-hmm. It has 1.2 million subscribers, by the way. Oh, wow. And it will up the, up every day there will be new music, basically. So just go yeah. there, see what you haven't listened to, and just give it a listen. That's the quickest way to yeah. learn about new music. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's what I do. And that's what I tell Sharns to do, but I'm just ending up sharing all the music with her anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so she doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, give that a give that a try if you're looking for the newest music. Yes, please. If you're going to Sokamaza, if you are at Sokamaza right now, or you're listening it back later and you've been to Sokamaza, either give us a shout, give us a little uh, hi, and then we'll uh, have a little chat. If you're going to Barbados, let us know. Then we'll meet up mm-hmm. there as well. Why not? Yeah, link up. And yeah, definitely. And yeah, I think I have no more to say for this episode. Wow, you have no more to say, RK. I knew it. I, I knew I should. Damn, have son. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to shut up right now. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> right, so please subscribe to our youtube page so just search soca chronicles subscribe mm-hmm. to our page follow us on instagram that's soca underscore chronicles mm-hmm. we're also on facebook so just search soca chronicles on facebook give us a like give us a follow check out all our previous episodes as well if you haven't done so already just yeah man be a part of the culture be a part yep. of us be a soca chronicler. There we go. <laughs> no, be a soca chronicleist. Oh, I like that better. Yeah. Like a bacchanalist, soca chronicleist. Yeah. Hey, come on. I like it. Come on. I like it. So yeah, so like, subscribe, and share to get it to a bigger audience. We'd mm-hmm. appreciate that 100%. very much. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. We appreciate you. And we will be back next month. So take care of yourselves Uh and each other. Egg. Oh, I like that. That's a good statement. I stole that one. Oh, well, okay. I'll I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, we can keep it. (laughs) So yeah, take care and see you next month. See you next month. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Soka Chronicles. Chronicles.